Sagittarius, hello. Um, this is going to be April's reading, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, it's not going to resonate with everyone because it's just general, and the collective is a big fucking place. Speaking of fucking, if you get fucking offended real fucking easy, go ahead and click off the fucking video. I'm in a mood. I need sleep, um, but I'm trying to knock these videos out. So if I resonate with you and you want a personal reading with me, you can reach me at the links in the description box below. Three ways to reach me, three ways to donate. A donation is required in order to receive a reading. However, the amount, <clears throat> excuse me, is entirely up to you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. I will say this, Sagittarius, you and Aquarius must have your hands in a whole lot of everything. You have come through strong in nearly every reading so far. So maybe it's just your presence or your energy or something about you that's coming through strong. But I, if I feel like you're dealing with a lot of people um, or you, you have your hand in a lot of things or you have a lot going on. Um, yeah. Also, the tower, <clears throat> the tower and the wheel of fortune continue to show themselves to me during the pre-shuffle. Aquarius pops out for what I say Aquarius and Sagittarius have been coming through so strong in nearly every reading. You may be dealing with Aquarius, you may have Aquarius in your chart, okay? It may just be that you're on this energy coming through super strong with Jupiter. I don't know what's going on in the in the, you know, with the planets, but Okay, and then the moon coming in here. All right. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer. Could just be the, the moon, okay, period, affecting you and your cycles, all right. Um, let's see. There could be, you know, this, this uh, we're in new moon energy right now, which was in Aries, fellow fire sign, right? Um, so that could have transpired quite a bit for you. I think it's uh, it's done something with your thoughts, with your with your mind. Maybe you've made your mind up about something within this new moon energy, but it could be um, it could be the full moon energy. Okay, that we will have in a couple weeks here on the twentieth, because that's going to be. Full moon in Libra, I think at 29 degrees, it may be 28 degrees, I'm not sure, but it's it's at the tail end, which doesn't make it any less powerful. <clears throat> My opinion, the opposite, okay? So there may be something there. Okay, the Hierophant coming in for you in the reverse position with the Ten of Wands to clarify these cards. Okay, and the Three of Wands with the Two of Cups. That's kind of what I was thinking. Sagittarius, there is a, a relationship here that has created a crazy amount of stress and responsibility for you. Okay, I feel like things have been put to rest. It's possible you were considering a divorce. Maybe some of you are actually coming through a divorce, getting out of a relationship, choosing to put it down. However, others of you are choosing that not everything works for everyone. You're choosing to sort of go this route, change, shift your, shift your thinking, right? Um, and it's like... I want this to last. Like, I love this person with this Two of Cups coming in. I see a future with this person. This is my one. I know we have goals. We're strong together, and I'm not going to let this go. So you've shifted your, uh, maybe, your um, perception and your beliefs about this relationship, okay? And that has allowed you to lay down... Shh, a lot of the wands and responsibilities and a lot of that oppression and this does have to do with all of the moon's energies that we've been in so be aware and prepared that when this libra moon hits libra is libra libra is venus leader le leaders <laughs> libra is the heart so be prepared for another wave <clears throat> of energy in a couple weeks 
and it may honestly if you are currently in a relationship if you've chosen to go the route of working this out and seeing what the future holds because the connection is so strong it may bring you closer together Ezra, shh. Where's your phone? Okay, then shh. Balance. Balance. Sagittarius, you come out in your own reading right at the front. I mean, like I said, you've been coming through so strong in everyone's reading. Aquarius and Sagittarius. Right, so that's, I feel like you you have been working on yourself. You've been working on your balance. You've been working on balancing a relationship, okay? Awaiting results with this seven of earth energy, okay? It's almost like I'm getting the sense like you, you did something or you let something ride or you planted the seeds or you allowed the seeds to be planted, Sagittarius. And now it's like, I'm just going to see where this grows or goes. Where does the vine lead me? I'm hearing, where does the vine lead me? Whatever that means. Two of water coming out for you. Shh. Okay, coming together. So to clarify this moon and this Aquarius, you got the two of cups. And then down here you get the two of cups again. So there's definitely um, a strong connection here with this person. I do feel like I'm speaking to people that are already in relationships. Ezra, please be quiet. All right, now you have the base chakra coming out for you. Believe and succeed. I believe that's uh, related to the six of wands. Feeling alone. Okay, the five of earth. I believe that's related to the five of earth. And then the, what I believe is related to the ace of cups. Love abounds. Okay, um, so in this relationship, something happened, right? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it had to do with primal urges. Take it as it resonates. I'm pretty sure you all know what that means. Okay, and we had to go back to the base of things. We had to... Sorry. Okay, so you had to go back to the base of things, okay? There was a lot of blockage. There were things sort of coming up at a primal level within this relationship. And it was made very obvious to everyone around, okay? This was not a secret. Whatever this was, it happened in the public's eye where everyone could see. But whatever it was, it also sort of put someone, maybe even both people, back into their power. And... Um, allows them to reconnect on a level that I don't think they've maybe ever connected on in the first place, okay? Um, there was a period of being left out in the cold for either one or both people. But it's almost like, it's like the, ap, ap, what's that? Absence makes the heart grow fonder or something like that. Like somebody realized through this, um, there's a realization of how much we love each other. And like overall belief in that love and believing that that love can conquer all and being patient being patient in this in this energy uh, by awaiting these results and allowing it to to grow on its own terms here very interesting um, read starting out Sagittarius Current energy you have the two of wands all right alliance now it is in the reverse position okay the reason I feel like this is okay I feel like there is uh, a recent hmm let's back up for a minute that's what I feel like like let's back up for a minute wait a minute like things have taken a turn all the way around, not just in your relationship, but in your relationships. Okay. Who is really my alliance? Who is aligning themselves with me? 
and who like friend or foe friend or foe I'm hearing like someone announce it's like they're sitting on you know the couch over there and the door opens and it's like I'm seeing them with a gun like you know friend or foe announce yourself like shit got real 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 quick <laughs> my my that escalated quickly but that is what I'm seeing it's like this real like don't fuck with me. Too much has happened recently. Um, yeah. So it's this kind of like, let's back up for a minute. Who, I need to figure out who my alliances are. Which way do I turn? And again, where does that vine lead me? What, that may be, I don't know what that means. But I feel like that means something very specific for someone very specific. The moon coming out as your challenge. Okay, so you got the moon. The sec was the second card out for you. All right, a turning in the journey. All right, so I, I, that's what I feel like. Like a lot of shit has happened, and it's got you really on your toes. Like, wait a minute, friend or foe, who are you? Where do you stand? Um, I'm not trying to be caught off guard, and I'm not in the mood for surprises. Okay, that's the challenge. Sort of. Um, really being able to read people, uh, read, it's almost like there's more in sort of what they don't say, what, what they aren't saying. There's more information for you right now, Sagittarius, in the things that these people are not saying. Pay attention to when they're quietest, when they are the quietest, is when you get your most accurate information I'm hearing. Wow, whoa. Yeah. <clears throat> also, the card of Pisces could be dealing with Pisces or someone with Pisces in their chart. But this, that is the challenge for you, that moon, okay? A turning in the journey, something taking a turn and like escalating super quick and, and seeing like who is, who is keeping the secrets. So that's, that's the challenge. Okay, in the immediate past, we have um, the... Uh, emperor the abbess unblock your emotions coming in the reverse position as well as the six of swords power rising um, which we already got up here in the up uh, right so now in the recent past these are in the reverse okay someone took a fall from grace someone tried to take reins and control the situation and it did not work out look someone here thought that they had all the power they thought that they had the ball in their court okay they were being manipulative domineering controlling they were ruling with a fist of fear and almost if i do this how will you react Like somebody, um, will you fight for me? Will you be jealous? Anyways, uh, whatever the fuck that is, that backfired bad, bad on one, if not both people. And everyone saw it and sees it. Okay, but that's okay because you're coming out of that. You know, a lot, a lot happened. It's almost like Sagittarius. There was already so much going on here within one relationship, and then like all of these little fires started that had nothing to do almost with what the main problem was. But it's just like all of this shit started transpiring at the same time. Like, and all of a sudden. I'm seeing you look around and the whole fucking forest is on fire, right? <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires, I'm hearing. You're coming out of that anyway. Good, because that's... <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Unexpected love. Okay, with the Page of Cups here. And the Four of Cups, love changes in the reverse position. Unexpected love and love changes. So this is still to come here. Okay, this is still on the way. This is an, actually the recent, I'm sorry, not the recent, the uh, near, very near future of a possible outcome here. Okay, so someone um, may be coming in to offer you a cup. Someone may have changed their entire idea about love. Someone may be going within or withdrawing altogether. Someone, it's almost like someone catches feelings either again 
for the same person or someone outside of the relationship. Take it as it resonates. It'll be different for everyone. But there's definitely, there's also, okay, look here. It's like, okay, something's happened for some of you. Something's happened and it's like, once a cheater, always a cheater. Once a drunk, always a drunk. Once a liar, always a liar. Not true. You're about to be really, really uh, blown away and sort of taken back because that person not only comes with a sincere apology, perhaps, but also a whole new way, a whole new look. Um, and they, they actually do change. And I think this will sort of Sagittarius, this does something to you. This does something for you on an on an inner, like an internal level. It's like, wow, well, like people can change. I don't think that that's been a um, maybe a reality for some of you, but it soon will be. Okay. The five of wands coming in. Okay. The five of wands. I want to get one more card with that because it is coming in the goals position. Strife. Uh, we know that the Five of Wands is very confrontational and argumentative, okay? Then we have the sun that comes out, life's joyful admiration. Okay, so look here. I feel like the goal is to confront everything that's going on because, look, in the challenge position, you get the moon and somebody with their bullshit secrets, okay? In the goals position, you get the sun, and confrontation, confronting a situation, confronting the secrets, shining the light on the secrets. So 